Hello and welcome to a new lesson. What is economics? We will talk about meaning of economics, definition and explanation. Literal meaning of economics. The word economics comes from two Greek words. The first one is oikos and it means a house. And the second one is nemein and it refers to to manage. Briefly, we can say economics is all about managing a household, managing the affairs of a house, but how? Using the limited funds or resources available. How you are able to manage affairs of house within the resources, within the wealth, within the funds available to you and in the most satisfactory manner possible. How one could manage the day-to-day -day economic activities of household within the limited money you have in the most satisfactory possible manner. This is basically the literal interpretation of the word economics. Okay, we continue our discussion. Definition of economics. According to Adam Smith, he wrote a book in 1776 and the name of the book is An Inquiry into Nature and Causes of Wealth of Nations. In this book, which was written in 1776, he says, he defines, he explains economics, the science of wealth. So according to Adam Smith, economics is the study of the science of wealth. That is to say, how wealth is created, how money is used, and how the entire economic life of a human being is managed. This is basically the definition given by Adam Smith. We continue our discussion, take another definition, definition of economics, definition number two, as explained by Alfred Marshall, and he wrote in his book, Principles of Economics in 1890. And what he says, he defines economics as a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. It means that economics is all about studying the economic activities of human being in his day-to-day -day affairs of life, in his day-to-day -day management of life, because life without economics is in fact no life. Normally we say human is social animal, but we forget that human is also an economic animal. Without economy being run around him, he or she cannot exist. In any way, the affairs of economy has to be related with the needs of the human beings. We continue our discussion about economics, that is to say, Explanation of economics. Economics, in fact, is a branch of social science. The study of how things are made, moved around and used. In the field of economics, we study how things are made, how things are manufactured, how things are created, how things are brought into birth, how things are brought into existence. All the things that we see around, they have been made, they have been created by different companies. Sometimes we create things, we make things by our own hand. Sometimes big companies manufacture things. So here the point is that the study of how things are made moved around and after we create things or after the products are made, after the things are made, then we try to move them to the market, move them to the proper place so that the people see them and try to use them in their day-to-day -day needs of life and used. So economics is all about how things are made, how things are marketed, and then how those things are being used by the people. We continue our discussion. It looks at, that is to say economics, it looks at how people, businesses, governments, and countries choose to use their resources. So economics is all about, as an individual, how we manage our economic resources. What is our income and what should be our spending? Normally, people calculate in everyday affairs of life. Likewise, big business, likewise governments, likewise countries, they also do the same how to use their resources, their funds, their wealth according to the needs of the time. That's the point here. And this is all about economics. We continue our discussion. Economics is also the study of how work and business are run. So in the field of economics, we try to understand how things go on, how works go on and how businesses are run. Because without work, the business cannot be established. Business cannot be run. Both are interlinked and complementary to each other. So in the field of economics, we not only study the aspects of business, but how the business empire is established. We continue. We have some more ideas. It focuses, that is to say, economics focuses on the production, distribution, 
and consumption of goods and services. So another aspect of study of economics is that it focuses upon production, how things are produced, how things are made, how things are created, how things are manufactured and after they are manufactured and produced then how they should be distributed, how they should be marketed, how they should be brought to the people, how they should be brought to the light of the public eye and then consumption that is to say how they should be consumed by the people, how they could be used by the people, in what way, in what quantity and at what pace of time. So economics is all about production, distribution and consumption of what? Of, of course goods. Goods means things, items that you make, that you manufacture and services, services that once your goods are ready, once your things are ready, once you have manufactured things, then we need services to bring them to the public, to market them to the public, to market them to the full view of public, to bring them to the eyes of public so that they can see and they can use. This is what we refer to services. So economics is all about the production, distribution and consumption of goods and services in that way. Now let's review of lesson. Talk about review what we have discussed so far. The word economics is derived from two Greek words oikos, a house, and nemen, to manage. In other words, we can say it means managing a household using the limited funds or resources available in the most such in the most satisfactory manner possible. We have next point. Adam Smith in his book An Inquiry into Nature and Causes of Wealth of Nations, 1776 defines economics as the science of wealth. We have some more ideas. Alfred Marshall in his book Principles of Economics 1890 defines economics as a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. And in the last we have economics is a branch of social science. It focuses on the production, distribution and consumption of goods and services. Meaning, definitions, importance, of finance meaning of finance it refers to the management of money but how is money managed and how do we do it let's see how do individuals businesses and organizations manage their money and assets how do people make money and invest money we have next point why do people borrow and lend money and we have another question what is the profit and loss involving money so all these four most important questions refer to the way we manage our money. We spend our money. We take care of our money into our different activities of life. We continue our discussion about meaning of finance. Briefly, it is the systematic study of not only financial management, but also financial institutions which control money such as. So what we come to the point is that Finance is not about management of money, management of wealth, management of assets, but it is also about financial institutions which control money, which regulate money, which make money happen, which generate money, which make money available to the public, to the people, such as public and private enterprises, banks and investors, and all those agencies that regulate money, that control money. All those financial institutions which influence our social activities of life through control of money. That is basically the meaning of finance. Now let's talk about definitions of finance by great writers. L. J. Gitman quoted as finance can be defined as the art and science of managing money. When we say art of managing money, that is your creative way of spending money, using money. And when we say science of managing money, that is your logical way of investing money, your scientific approach toward spending money, where and how reasonable it is to spend the money. That is the point of discussion here. Now we have another definition given by Shell and Halley said that finance is a body of fact principles and theories dealing with raising and using of money by individuals, businesses and governments. So finance is also about a collection of facts, principles and theories in which we apply our mind, we apply our critical thinking, how to raise 
and use money and this can be done by individual persons by big business enterprises or even by the government we continue our discussion we have the next definition given by e w walker stated as activities of a business concern relevant to financial planning coordinating control and their application is called finance so finance is just not about the management of money but also about your financial planning how you plan how to spend the money how do you coordinate between two individuals two enterprises in investing the money in generating the money how you control and how your knowledge of the management of money is being applied to the overall health of financial improvement is called finance so these are some of the most important definitions given by important writers now we continue our discussion and that is to say definitions of finance by common people what common people like me and like you think of finance let's discuss the process of raising funds or capital for any kind of expenditure is called finance so normally people understand that finance is all about how you grow your capital how you grow your funds how you grow your assets for any kind of expenditure being applied to financial development of your life is known as finance another way of explaining what is finance by the common people the system or a study of creating circulating and managing money is known as finance and we have the last one in this direction the study of the management of currency or capital assets is termed as finance so the finance is not only about managing money but it is also the management of currency your capital assets overall wealth that you have and all the ways and tricks of money of assets of capital being involved in the process is known as finance now let's discuss about importance of finance how financial literacy is important how knowledge of finance is important in what way does it help us the first point in this direction is there is a famous saying that the importance of finance is considered more important in times of crisis than in times of peace you know if you manage your finance very carefully then you come to understand the importance of it when you suffer financial loss when you are in financial crisis in times of peace in times of prosperity you just don't care how money is being spent for different activities in your life but when you fall down from the height of your success you are in a crisis you are in deep trouble then you know the importance of money and the importance of managing your finance we have another point in this direction thus knowledge of finance helps us understand the financial world in a better way of course if you know about all the ways and means through which finance is managed this will help you better understand the financial world we have another one it avoids us from getting into unnecessary risks and protects us from financial mismanagement of course if you have the knowledge of finance first it helps you better understand the financial world second it stops you from getting into financial risks unnecessary risks and protect you from financial mismanagement protect you from taking bad decision in the management of finance and we have the last point in this direction it shows us the way how to generate money and spend it in a meaningful way so if you have the knowledge of finance you better know how to generate money how to create money out of money how to multiply your income how to multiply your profit and not only that it also helps you how to spend money in a meaningful way not in a reckless way not spending in a way you like but spend it productively that is the point hope you understand the lesson thank you and goodbye